everybody. Welcome. Welcome to my home and welcome to my art room. I'm Sam or Sam I am. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm doing fantabulistic. Yes, I am. I am so, so excited to do something, to do a project and I need some colors to do it with. If you've never been here before, let me explain how I do things. I use a number generator, number generating app. I always say that wrong and I should be able to say it like, shoo, a number generating app to pick my colors because I've numbered all of my colors. And to date, I'm at 437. So I enter the parameters of one through 437 to generate a number. Well, I will generate that number and that number, I will pull the color that corresponds with it. I do this four times to get four different colors. I do this because I'm indecisive about choosing colors. I had all these colors and could never come up with anything that looked good or it was just ordinary, plain, nothing, no, like I said, like to say pow, no pizzazz, nothing that was like, yay, it was just meh, okay, you know, it was pretty. But I wanted things that were better than just pretty. So that's why I came up with the idea of using the number generator. And so far it's turned out some pretty great color combinations. Of course, we've had some that weren't so great, but that's okay. You just push that aside and go on with the next one. And that's what I'm doing. Now, if um, the colors that I've generate, if all of them or one of them is not gonna do good, it's not gonna mix well with the other colors, then I'll call a mulligan. And if I have to call a mulligan, I will pull that color and generate a new one to take its place. I've had to do it. I have had to do it. I try to avoid it, but this is kind of a guide for me and I don't want to waste resin. Nobody wants to see resin wasted. So that's why I came up with actually a subscriber told me that um, that would be a good idea to use the mulligan, which is what I've started using. So, with all that explaining, I think it'll probably do a little better once you see me doing it. So, let me go ahead and generate our first number. The parameters are in, 1 through 437. Let's generate. 178. Next, 13. It's been a while since I had a loop. Oh, well, there's 14. Third number. Oh, look, that was 14. I hit 13, then 14 was up. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? I know you had to see it. I saw it. Do I go with it or do I just forget it? I'm, I'm just, since we don't know if I called it, saw it right, I'm just going to say, I could run it back on the video, but then by then it's, I'm just not going to do it. I'm just going to say 53 is our third number. See, indecisive, told y'all, told y'all. All right, generate fourth and last number, 304. Now, I will put you guys on hold while I pull these colors, see if I need anything to go with it. I will pick out our project and mix up some resin. So you hang tight for just a second. I'll be back in a blink of an eye. Hang tight. Hey everybody, I'm back. Oh, I got sidetracked. So my resin is good and ready to roll. I go ahead and, oh, our colors. <laughs> I'm sorry, I did get sidetracked. First color is 178. That is Mermaid by Ranger. It's an alcohol ink. Then number 13 is going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, Ghost Satin Green. It's a pigment powder by Black Diamond. 53 is also a pigment powder by Black Diamond. It's Iridescent Green. Then we had uh, 304 is Blue Purple by Sigwong. It's an alcohol ink. Now, looking at these colors, I kind of think peacock. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have added this color I haven't used yet. It's Peacock Dance by Lorez from Laura's Art Corner. And then I have lemon or yellow green from Let's Resin. It's an alcohol ink. So I'm gonna mix all those together and I'm gonna do a dirty pour with my peacock molds. And then once they're cured, I'm gonna come in with this uh, acrylic paint and these grooves, I'm gonna put the paint on top of the cure resin and it'll go down into the grooves and then we'll wipe it off and I'll put a top coat on it. It's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. Just wait and see. 
First, we gotta get pouring. And I gotta do this because, like I said, my resins get warm because I got sidetracked. So, first, what we want to do when you put do when you're using mica powders, the best way to mix them is by putting a little bit in your cup, a little bit of your powder in your cup. These little spoons are great for your micas too, guys. So put a little bit in there. Now we're gonna take a little bit, I already have one in there. I already have a little spoon. So we're gonna take a little bit of the ghost satin green and put that in there. Okay, and our micas are done. And I mixed up 16 ounces, way too much, of my resin of choice, which is ClearCast 7000. It's VOC free. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. Cures crystal clear. Great, great resin to work with. Another key note, it's budget friendly. Put it this way. After shipping and the 10% or $10 coupon off for five gallons, it's $275. That's pretty daggone good for five gallons. And that's including shipping to your door. FedEx takes about a week to get it. I order it every month. I love it. It is absolutely worth trying. All right, just put a little bit of resin in at first. Oops. And then you mix them. You make like a paste. And this keeps your mica powder from flying up in your face. And it's already combined, so when you put the rest of your resin in, it's easy peasy to mix it all up. It's just one easier step, I think. I try to always do it this way. It's one of those tips. Okay. Yeah, so I'm thinking that mermaid, it's a little more on the green side for a blue. So if I mix it in with this, I think it's going to look great for the uh, color for the peacock. I just, I was looking on Google at pictures of peacocks. There are so many different color peacocks out there. I saw a picture of a white one. Gorgeous! Then I saw one that had like a, um, I guess fuchsia throat. The body and throat was fuchsia color. It was really pretty. Okay, now we need one for the yellow, the purple, and the peacock dance. So let me split these up. I'll put a little more in here. A little more. Oh, poured it right. And look, I don't have my gloves on, y'all. Imagine that. If you've never been here before, I don't ever like to put my gloves on. I don't know why, but that's why my fingers stay different colors. But it's okay. It's okay. It ain't no big thing. I can deal with some colored fingers. I mean, it is a little embarrassing sometimes. People look at your hands and think you're dirty. But you can look at the rest of me and know I'm not dirty. And my hair's not greasy or... You know what I mean? Some days it is just pulled up, though. Not all. To dude. Sorry, y'all. Give me a second to put these daggone gloves on. I'm having a hard time, but they're going slowly but surely. Okay. I should do that for that. There's a little clear left in the jug, just in case. All right, let me finish combining these and get them over there. You can see that green sheen or hue. Move that out of the way. All right, this is the green where I'm gonna wanna add the um, mermaid. I don't know that it's gonna change it that much, but 
the rules say I have to use the colors generated. So this color was generated, this color was generated. I'm just mixing them. Oh, all this gunk goes around the top. Glad I didn't open it over my peacocks. Okay. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That sounds good. Good round number. Let's mix this up and see what happens to our green. Hmm, can't really notice anything. But it went in there. We saw it. Okay. Now, let's do the peacock dance. I've been waiting to use this color. I got it on discount because the seal was broken. But you know, a company can't sell it as a new product like that. Shoot, I love clearance sales where I find it like that. I take all your broken seals. This is good product. Nothing wrong with it. Having an open seal. It's not like it's makeup. I mean, it's more precious than makeup in my opinion, but. All right, so we just put, oh, did y'all see how much I had on there while I was talking about my deal? Let's see if you can still see it. See, just about that much. And when you mix that in, look at this beautiful color. I'm excited to use it. Look. Gosh, that's gorgeous. I got this little bit of clear left. I'm gonna put it in this because I want a majority of this color left, I think. In case I have any left over, I want it to be this color. I'll find something to put it in, even if it just fills up the rest of my sphere. I have a sphere instead of, or instead of using little, um, little molds to fill up if I don't have a project going on beside me, then I have a sphere that I um, put all my extra mold uh, resin in. I have, I've completed a couple of them. I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do with them after I've done them. I mean, they're just full of color. All right, so this is beautiful. Beautiful. All right, I gotta get a wiggle on it. A wiggle, not a wiggle. I gotta get some pep in my step. All right, let's go with the blue purple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can tell this is not gonna be dark enough, so we're just gonna put a nice squirt in there. If you've been with me before, you know I'm a good squirter. I love to squirt. Rather than drop. Just easier. Get to the line. Get to the finish line with the color. See, it's still awful light. I don't get it. I don't know what's wrong with the alcohol colors I have. That's all right. I got purple from Let's Resin. I'm going to add that, too. I can add as many additional colors that I want, right? Yup. So when I ordered alcohol inks, I researched what was the best. And Sig Wong is the ones who got, I mean, got the highest reviews. It's still not dark enough. I, mean, I know it's not going to be dark like a mica, but I would like for it to have, you know, I want it to be dark. This is as dark as we're going to get. Oh, that's my resin curing heat and plate going off. All right. Now we got lemon, 
No, I keep saying that yellow green. And I already know this is a light color, so we're just going to need the squirt. I'm almost out of that color. Imagine that. All right, so I've never done a dirty pour. I've seen the dirty pours. So I am going to do my first dirty pour with you guys. We are going to do this. So now, what I gotta do is take a cup. This one's sticky. Let me get a different cup. I'll use this one. Okay. So we'll put a little bit of each in. We go a little bit. A little bit. Just seems like it would come out like mud to me, but. I'm doing this right. This is how I saw everybody else do it. They just poured it in. I don't know if this will be my only time. I think this might be my only time doing a dirty pour. I can't imagine this coming out pretty. Last time around. And this is the way I've seen them done. So if I'm not doing it right, somebody let me know. Okay. That's done. Now, this one. I'm not going to finish all this one, though. It's pretty... Y'all still there? Awful quiet. I'm concentrating here. Okay, that one's done. Now, white or ghost satin green. Stuck in my finger. All right, last color, the green. All right, that's it, y'all. I might as well just go ahead and pour this blue in there, and if I have something left over. Then I'll just pour it in an extra coaster or something. Right? Right. I hope this comes out nice. It is a lot of resin to waste if not. Okay. That's all the resin, y'all. Hands are sticky as I'll get out. I gotta wipe my hands a little bit, y'all. Can't even pick anything up. I'm gonna stand up so I can get down and dirty with this cup. Let's see what happens, y'all. Alright. Got a mess going on. Alright, here we go.
Oh, it looks pretty. Hey, they are full. This one is like very full. I wonder if I can get the rest of them very full like that. Just a drop at a time. Okay, I have gotten them full. Might be able to get another drop in this one. Let's try it. Definitely gonna have to wait to put these on the heat curing plate. I don't know that they'll go on there. Awesome. Well, guys, I don't think the colors look too bad. I mean, I don't really know. Maybe if you use different colors, you get better I, mean, I don't know. You can't really tell what colors you have in there at all, can you? All right. We will see what we have. I think it looks good for the peacock. Quickly and efficiently with your torch, guys. Don't burn your stuff. The mold or the resin. See those bubbles just coming right on out. Cool. And then you want to come back to it in a little while after you've done this and do it again in case any have escaped since you left it. Okay, look, I didn't do too bad. There's only a little bit left. Looks like one of those healthy drinks they want you to drink in the morning, doesn't it? Not, not so much. I have something over here. This is the other half of a spice grinder. I accidentally poured this side when you're supposed to pour this side. I don't think it'll fill it up, but let's try it. It would be nice, then we're not wasting anything and everything's getting used. And I can complete this project. But it's not going to fill it up. Close. But not all the way. Oh well, we tried. That's okay. That's okay. One more project. I'll have it finished. Right? Right. So that's good, it gave me a big chunk of it. And now I've got some very sticky tools I need to clean up. So, what do you guys think about our peacocks? I think they look pretty good. We shall see how they turn out. So for now, I am going to say goodbye and I shall see you when they've cured. 
If I get them on the resin curing plate, that's about two and a half hours. But I have to wait an hour before I can get them on the resin curing plate because I can't move them right now. They're so full. Okay, well, let me, oh, look, I'm just wiping my hands. I'm talking to you for one second while I clean my hands before I touch the phone. Or even the pen with the, uh, the stylus on it. I just remembered something. I have to order more alcohol, and I hope it gets here quickly. I forgot about that. That, and I ordered, um, you know, the Deco Art Dura clear varnish. I ordered them at the same time and I ordered that but forgot to order the alcohol which is way more important. Alright guys I'll be back. Good morning everybody. Good half a second to you. I got our peacocks ready. Um, let's go over our colors real quick. We had 178 which is mermaid. It's an alcohol ink from Ranger. Then we had number Here's stuff falling behind me. And what in the world that was. We had number 13, which is Ghost Satin Green by Black Diamond. It's a pigment powder. Also from Black Diamond, another pigment powder, we have Iridescent Green, number 53. Next is number 304, Blue Purple by Sig Wong. It's an alcohol ink. Then I added, these are the numbers generated, then I added 366, which is Larez's, um, Larez Expressions Peacock Dance, and I got this from Laura's Art Corner. She has all the Larez Expressions over here in the United States. Then I have, uh, from Let's Resin, Yellow Green Alcohol Ink, number 148. Also from Let's Resin, another alcohol ink, Purple number 181. We did a dirty pour with them in our peacock mold. And they are nice and cured. So let's see what we got. Let me pop them out. Come out so easily. I can't remember where I got these molds. Somebody asked me and I wish I could tell you. I can't recall. And they do have one on um, Amazon. It's just not this one. And it's only one pose. This one. The round one. But it's on there. And I looked for it. If you just uh, Google peacock silicone mold. Coaster silicone mold. You see many, many other places selling it. So I just can't give you the specific place that I bought it. Okay. Here we go. Bam. Wow. I mean, colors are mixed. I mean, I, to me, I don't really care for the dirty pour. I just think it's just mixed. But we're going to make this look a little better. All right, this side. Bam! Again, same colors. Let me put this down here. You can y'all see? I'm, I have a light coming today. Today's Wednesday, right? It's coming today. All right, and this one, bam, same thing. And last, bam. They're identical. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this acrylic paint, Craft Smart, in the color light gold. I wish I had a different gold, but this is what we got. I have this kind of gold this testers, but I don't think it does what we need it to do. So, I am going to take a paintbrush. Uh-oh. This one's been sitting in water. I didn't clean this one very good. Sorry, guys. This wasn't clean. I don't know why it's not coming very clean either. There we go. Okay. So, we are going to take... Now, I've seen this done. I saw Sandra Lett. She has a YouTube channel. I saw her do this. If I can find it, I will link it. Because I think it's important to give credit where credit's due. And I saw her do it and I thought it was really, really cool. All right, I can't use that one. I choose this one. Let 
Yeah, I wish this was dark, but it's not. We just have to deal with what we got, right? You just put this on there like this. I'm gonna make sure you get down in those grooves. Grooves in the heart. I don't know the whole song. I think it's an 80s song. Everybody probably recognizes it. Maybe not me singing it, but. It looks like I got in all these grooves. Looks can be deceiving, so make sure you double check. I'll get his little feet down there. I think I got it all. Now, what we do is, I can't recall if I need to wet this or not. So, I think I do. I have a bottle of water. Let's see. Or maybe I could use a baby wipe. Shucks. Oh, look. I am not prepared this morning. Hold on. Got them right here. I went to Sam's Club and bought a box of 11,050 of baby wipes. I was tired of getting the little packs and running out. Okay, so let's see if this works. Yeah, just wipe it off. I'm just going to take a couple wipes. Maybe come in with the dry. Uh oh, watch the paint on the bottom. Look. Look how pretty that looks. And all those grooves are, you can see them now. Make sure you wipe your sides. Now, when we come in and do a top coat, this will be sealed. and look very classy, I believe. Hold on, let me finish wiping it, and then I'll show you the finished product. It's a surprise. It's super, super surprise. What do y'all think? Is that pretty cool, or what? I was really excited. I saw Miss Lett do it, or Sandra. It's kind of messy, but... That's the way resin rolls, isn't it? And I guess you don't want to do too much because you don't want to pull it back out. There. So rather than you guys sit here and watch me struggle do this, I am going to put you on fast forward. Time lapse. Whatever. Actually, I'm just going to do this off camera. You saw me do one. Or do you want me to do another one? What do y'all think? Let's do this one. You can fast forward, guys. I got to do all four of them, so. Yeah, it uses a lot of them. Um, 
paper towels and stuff, huh? Oh, well. This one seems a little deeper. The grooves seem a little deeper. Not as easy to fill in. Yeah, Sandra, she does hers. She has a beautiful glitter. I think it's, uh, maybe it's called Peacock. I'm not sure, I don't remember. But she does that. I'm pretty sure that was the whole background, was just the glitter, which is absolutely gorgeous. And then does this gold technique. Said I got those molds. I gotta try that out myself. And we did it with the dirty pour. Again, I don't know. I mean, it's good for peacock color, huh? I just think I would have liked it separated a little more. Maybe I'm doing the technique wrong. The dirty pour technique, I mean. I hear a rustling and a hustling in my house, or rustling and bustling. Hopefully, nobody comes out to the art room. If they do, I'll just have to say, excuse me. I have a note that's a magnet on the door. Because my art room is in the garage. Very nice art room. My dad set up for my mom and I. Other well, health keeps her from coming out most days. Okay, we got that one covered. All right, let's do our little wipe. I'll tear the baby wipe up for sure with all those grooves. So look great with a top coat, huh guys? Okay, go around and get our sides. And this is the dry paper towel. Kind of seems to be doing a little better than the baby wipe. I guess because it's still really wet. Sorry, I'm at a screen. Concentrating. All right, guys. Now I am going to put you on hold. When I come back, we'll do this hot coat. See? Pretty cool, huh? Which one do you like better? I think I like this one better. I like these feathers. And I like these feathers, this body. That face kind of looks freaky. 
I don't know. All right, I'm going to do these other two and um, let them dry for a little while, and then we will do the top coat on them. All right, guys, hang tight. Don't go anywhere. Hey, guys, I'm back. Now, one thing I forgot to go over that I wanted to come back to you and do is, since we're doing a top coat, we need to put on liquid latex on the back. This will help the resin that we put on top get on the bottom because we don't want it on the bottom. So I'm going to show you how we do that. First, I put some gloves on. Mm -hmm. I know it's like becoming stupid, isn't it? <sighs> Sorry. Yeah. So while uh, I've mixed up the resin, and while that is degassing and thickening up because. You want thicker resin to put a top coat on so it'll stay on top instead of being thin and rolling off the sides. So that's what I my resin is doing. And while that's doing that, we are going to come in and put the latex on there. Let me show you what it is. Believe it or not, it's Monster Liquid Tex, Latex. Um, this is for Halloween. This is made by Kangaroo. And it works like a charm. Better than tape. You just want to go around and put it on. Make sure you cover everything. I'm just going to show you this one and then... Oh, very important. You want to make sure you're level up on your cups. You just take a little level and check it out. See? Easy peasy. Alright, now you're just going to take your finger... Carefully get to the edges. The glove isn't tight enough. And just go all the way around. And this peels off like a dream. Wait till you see that. If you've never seen it, it's pretty cool. I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, oh, I'm definitely getting that because I hate taping. Man, I hate saying that. <laughs> so this is a perfect tool for that. Well, perfect product, I guess. So that's all you do. And a uh, thinner layer is good, so it'll dry quick. It takes about, I don't know, 20 minutes, I hope. Which I'm going to be flipping it over, so it's okay. But that's about how much time I need for my resin. All right, so I'm going to do these real quick. I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back. All right, latex is dry, paint is dry, resin cured. I have no more excuses why I can't do this top coat. I'm not very good at it, guys. I am going to try my best. I've let the resin sit about 30 minutes to let it thicken up. Here we go. Y'all don't watch. I'm nervous. Hmm. Just put a little bit on there to start with. Kind of let that do its thing. Present is self-leveling, so it's going to level. We already checked that it. my cups and my peacocks are level. I moved it a little bit, though. I forgot about that. I mixed up six ounces. And my resin is good for casting or if you let it sit, it'll do uh, top coats or coatings. And you just work it gently to your sides. Making sure to cover all of it. These little makeup brushes are great for this, guys. It's a silicone makeup brush. All right.
And then just go slow, gently. It's not a race. Your resin's not going to set up that quick. I used to feel rushed working with resin because I'm like, oh my God, it's going to get stiff or cured. I don't want that to happen. Then I, the more I worked with it, the more I realized how much time I had. Plenty of time. As long as you don't wait till the last minute. All right. What I like to do is get down and make sure I've covered the whole thing. There's nothing worse than to have a piece that you've top coated and everything looks beautiful except in one spot. And remember a little while ago I told y'all I kept hearing something? Well, it got louder and I went over and looked. We got a mouse. Uh-oh. There's a piece of paper towel. Glad I found that. Look at that. It's a big piece. Oh, in the world. Wow. Clean my brush. Ugh. Still getting pieces, y'all. Okay. You got that coated. It's moving right along. Uh-oh, I see a drip. I made up way too much resin. Find something to do with it, I guess. Now when these cure, we will use our gold pen to go all the way around the side and trim them. And it will be beautiful. I probably should have done that before I put the top coat on. That would have been nice, but I just thought about it. Oh well. I'm checking, make sure I got everything. Getting down to the level. Looking at it in the glare. Utilize that light.
I'm sure if I got all this lint off. Oh, this latex. All right, guys. I think I got them perfect. They look perfect. It's triple checking. Like I said, you don't want a whole beautiful coaster all covered. And then we got one piece that, one part that didn't get covered. It's not beautiful. I mean, it's still beautiful, but you put all that work into it. Don't half tail do it. My dad always used to say something different, but. Okay. I'm not going to go over it anymore. I know I've gotten it all. I'm just making up spots now. Okay, you want to hit it quickly with the torch because you don't want to thin all this resin that you just let thicken up. I've got five. I only needed an ounce. I've got five ounces left. I gotta figure out something to do with that. All right, quickly. Okay, so we will let these cure and um, I'll come back to you. I don't like this spot right here. It's just a divot. No, it's just a divot. Everything looks good, guys. I'm gonna let y'all go. I'll just check it out by myself and find something to do with all this resin. All right, gang, hang tight. I'll be back. Hey everybody, I'm back. I'm back with our pretty peacocks. And they turned out really good, I believe. I like how the gold settled into the grooves and just gives it that extra pow. And I love it. And I didn't think I was going to do the edges in gold, but I remembered I have this gold, which is, uh, what did they call that gold? Um... This gold was called light gold. So that's what this is instead of being, you know, the normal gold. So I thought it worked out well. It matches really good. Now I've done these two. I've taken the latex off the back and I've done a double coat of the um, uh, paint. I was going to take this latex off in front of you, but I already did it. Oh no, wait a minute. Not that one. Yes. This is the one I want to show you. I didn't take the latex off of this one. I moved it up front. Silly goober. All right, this is all you have to do to get your latex off. Start it, roll it, and it just comes right on off, y'all. It's like magic. And no drips will be left on your coaster. I did okay on my top coat, y'all. I did notice that I need to remember to wipe the sides. I had some spots that were, uh, you know, didn't turn out very well. Had some extra resin on it. This one turned out good. But that's okay, that's okay. So now I am going to do the sides of this one. Show you how, I'm sure you guys know how to do it, but let me show you how I do it. <laughs> I've gotten to where I prefer painting rather than the pens. You know, the pens that um, paint pens. I don't know. I just, I, they're so expensive, number one. But I mean, that you know, the cost is beneficial if, you know, it's worth it. If that makes sense. But I don't know that it's that much easier. And um, I think you have to use more. I don't know, it's just one of those things. I mean, there's 
some things I'm still going to need the pen for, but as far as trimming, I think I like, um, I need to get in here, don't I? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm hogging it, holding it towards my breast, my bosoms. And if you ever see me, I got some big bosoms. God granted me the top half, forgot my bottom half. Yeah, see that gold? Didn't it match that perfect? I love it when a plan comes together. And I think our dirty pour turned out well, don't you guys? I mean, as far as the colors blending well enough for the peacock, we couldn't ask for better colors. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I got the exact effect you're supposed to get when you do a dirty pour. Probably not. But it was my first time. So I will try it again and again and again. Until it's as close to perfect that I can get it. You know, like I say, it's okay. It's okay. Just moving right along. How's the light situation, guys? I got this new light. That order from Amazon, I can tell you it's really helping me. I hope it's helping you guys. I don't know what else to do if it doesn't work. Because, um, well, I mean, I know that there's this big light one of our, my subscribers sent to me. It's like, you know, the garage lights that you get, the long ones. Well, these, you don't have to wire them, hardwire them and everything. They run off just a regular outlet. And you can hook more to you can hook more than one up together you know kind of like the christmas tree lights how you can hook multiple strands together well that's what these lights are like and i really debated getting them and i still might get them but if i could find a more cost effective way to do it for now then i'm really happy with this light Okay, this is going to need a second coat. See how I got all that on there? This is how we fix it. Take, look, I've been fixing a lot. You get you a nice, fresh, clean wipe. Spray some alcohol on it. And then just go around and wipe it. And since you're coming to it right away, it's going to come off fairly simple easily well the more I mark the more it, <laughs> the more I wait the more I leave and it did not have this problem with the other ones you guys jinxed it Right. Let's flip her over. Oh, yeah. We got a light on this side. Definitely don't want it on this side, huh? This is a little harder to get off. Not much. The alcohol just makes everything easy. This has to be 100% alcohol, or 99%. It's for the best effects. I mean, you know, alcohol will work, but the lower your percentage, the more water that is in the alcohol. I never knew before I started doing resin that there was different levels of alcohol, which, I mean, it makes sense. I just, one of those things you just never think about. Well, I didn't. Didn't have a reason to.
All right, guys. There are our beautiful peacock coasters. Trimmed beautifully. I can see where I didn't go all the way to this end. I don't know how I missed that with the top coat. I mean, it's, I noticed it. I noticed it. So that's one thing you really got to be careful about is making sure you go all the way to the edge. And I even got down and looked at it and I still didn't see it. So just take your time and go around the sides when you're doing your top coats. Okay. Well, that's all for me, guys. If you liked my video, if you would, hit like. And while you're there, hit subscribe. Or you could just go down to your right hand corner to see the red little circle. That's a subscribe clickable link. You just click right on there and you're subscribed to my channel. And if you subscribe, I'm doing a giveaway. So all you have to do is like, subscribe, send me a comment telling me that you liked and subscribed. If you don't send me a comment, then I don't know. There's nothing on my side that tells me who subscribed. I just get a number of how many subscribers I have. So make sure you send me the comment. You've taken the time to subscribe and like. Let me get you your number. Just send me a comment so I can send you a number. And once I've reached a thousand subscribers, yep, that's probably a lot, most people, but I'm going to do it. I have faith and I'm hoping. Once I get to that many subscribers, I'm going to use the number generator to generate a winner. The winner gets an Ocean Basic pack of pigment paste from Just Resin. It's got all the beautiful ocean colors. I accidentally ordered two. So I have mine and rather than sending the other one back, paying shipping, I decided to do a giveaway for subscribers. I haven't talked about it in a while. So I just figured I'd bring it back up in case anybody's interested in a giveaway. Who isn't interested in a giveaway? Give me everything. I love it. All right, guys, that's all for me. I hope you have a good night. Take care. Bye.